Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here, how are you? Welcome to the channel once again, my little corner of the interwebs for a bit of WordPress and if that's your thing too, then I do encourage you to subscribe if you're new here and all that jazz. Anyway, it's a block theme build, yes indeed. It's a one pager, but it covers a shed load of techniques and workflows for building out an existing design into a lovely shiny new block theme. Oh yes, it does. Let's have a look at what we'll be covering. We will be covering setting up of your fonts, of your base colors. We'll be covering groups and widths and wide widths and content widths and all that silly stuff. The cover block, learning how to use that in some really creative ways. Setting up uh, one page navigation, some, some bit of mobile stuff, little mini masterclass on a contact form seven. And like I said, it's essentially a, a full on workshop to turn a design into a finished block theme. So here we go with today's tutorial. It's elemental to block themed, a one page build. All right, here we go. We've got the old Norman site here, an old theme of mine, uh, elemental as it happens. You see, we've got a you know big hero at the top, some sections, a bit about us, a bit of a gallery going on, testimonial part, contact form and a footer. All very simple stuff. It's a one pager. Oh, yes, it is. And here's our fresh install of WordPress 2024. But we're going to be using a different theme, the my personal blank starter templates, like a boilerplate, completely stripped right back. It's brilliant for building sites when you're copying a design. You don't need like a ton of patterns or fonts that are built into the theme. Card is above me. Link is in the description to the explainer video that I made about that. And also you can download it. Link is, link is down there. It's free, freebies. OK, let's activate that. And the first thing we're going to do is get into the editor and the styles tab. And there's our styles open. And we're going to sort out the typography. We're going to grab the fonts from Norman. Now, with our handy font identifier, what font? We can click on our fonts here and we can see we've got Oswald 400, Oswald 300. We've got the rather lovely Petit Formal scripts. We've got Oswald again. 400 and we've got Roboto that's Petty again Petty again Betty book an appointment that's Oswald 400 again and Roboto and that's pretty much all we need to worry about so let's go back to our admin and we're in the typography section where we left it and we're going to open up our fonts and we're going to install some new fonts we're going to allow access to Google let's go get Oswald Oswald and we'll install install 300 and 400 and then we'll have a look for roboto roboto you tell me uh and well, what was that that was 300 let's get that install that let's go have a look for our petty petty just the one variation there let's install that and you'll see on the right hand side let's close that we've got our fonts now that's auto save next thing we want to do is get the colors of norman and if we exit what font and open up our and start inspecting stuff let's have a look see about the color so let's inspect this header here and that's the header there's our background color let's copy that Back to our editor, going to go back to the main page and our colors, open our colors. We're going to add a custom color. We'll call this dark brown. Paste that in. There's our dark brown. What else have we got going on? We've got this gray here. So let's grab that with our color picker and we'll add a new one. Paste that in. Call that mid gray save that as we go anything more that all looks the same a lot of it is background uh, background images with um overlays and stuff although this ins let's inspect this footer here because uh, that looks like it's a darker this section background color yeah so it's a much darker brown let's grab that add that we've already got dark brown so Deep brown, oh yes. 
save that, save that. And while we're on this page, if we just open up the list view here, you see we're, that's the header, that's a template part, as well as the footer. And we can actually change the name of the site right here, which is rather groovy. Save that, save that. I'll show you what I mean. If we go to exit out of the editor and we go to settings, you see our site titles changed. Fantastic. Let's get back to the editor. Let's get back to our styles. Let's get our list open. In fact, we'll do the old preferences. Always open in list view. So we don't have to keep opening and closing it. And let's get back to our title. We're also going to get the toolbar up the top there. So it's out of the way of our working area. Let's get the typography in. First up, we're going to set our main text as our Roboto. And then we're going to take our headers, our headings, and change them to Oswald. And you see everything is now as it should be. The other ones should be set to default, which means the font that we put on text in general will cascade down to those other ones, including captions and buttons. If we just save that, save again, and go to our site now we can inspect our page with and on firefox it, you've got a nice little tab that tells you what font you're inspecting the gold is that if you open up this tab it says all fonts on page and you see we've only got two, the two that we've that we're running which is great mission accomplished back to our admin that needs to be a much weightier font we're going to switch to edit mode so we're in style there switching to edit let's go to our styles tab and we can get our typography on there too so we want font family and that will be oswald and we can make that a little bigger so we look at the original yeah that's kind of about right okay so back to our editor and the same with our navigation we want our appearance and font family will open up so font family is Oswald again and our appearance will be extra light I believe that's all the work we're going to do on the header for now we've got our base colors we've got our base fonts and we've set our typography up so let's get out of there and we'll go back to our main admin and pages we're going to add a new page and it's going to be called home let's get a group straight in there and we'll make it a group and switch it over to full width doesn't look like anything's changed yet i know it is full width it's that with our wonderful group workflow with new block themes we've got to actually check this off so that the full width is full width for the stuff that's inside it i know anyway let's publish that just to keep saving close that down and for now, I'm going to make the page template, the blank page, swap the template over to the blank page. OK, update that. Now, the reason I want that is because we're going to come back to the header and footer at the end. Let's just come out of the editor for just a second. We'll go to settings and reading settings. Change our front page to our home page. And if everything is aligned, Back on our main URL, refresh that completely blank page. Happy days. All right, back to the admin and let's go back to our page and our new home page. In fact, we don't want a group at all. Uh, we want, let's delete that. Um, our new loving right click, right click contextual menu on the list view, killer. Uh, we, want actually, we actually want a, a cover block here. That's how we're going to do this. So cover. Let's make that full width. Let's go to our media library. I've taken the liberty of uploading all the photos we need. And it's that main hero image is what we want. Let's just make that just a bit bigger for the time being. And we just need an image in there. From the media library, it's the Norman logo. Oh, yes, it is. OK, let's update that and see how that's looking. That's cool. Logo's probably a bit big. Let's get that down a bit. Align it. Center. And we also need to get this height sorted out because if we look at the original, 
it's actually a full height, full width of the viewport. Let's sort that out on our cover. Go to the Styles tab, scroll down so you get to the high. You can see that's what we were setting it with by moving that. We we'll change pixels to viewport height and put in 100, which basically means 100% of the viewport height. Update that back to our front end and refresh that and that's cool now you may notice the cover comes in with an overlay by standard but what it what wordpress does these days with the cover block is that it picks the cover the overlay color based on what the the prominent color of the image that you're using which is kind of cool and it kind of works sometimes but we actually want this to be probably one of our custom colors so let's change that to our deep brown update that just have a look look at that yeah, that kind of feels a lot more like it. In fact, it's probably even probably even darker, isn't it? But I'm cool. I'm cool with that for the time being. What do we have next on our page? Well, we've got this section with the petty text in it. Let's get a group underneath. Right click, add after. We'll put in a group. We'll make it full width. And the inner content will be full width too. Uh, the background is that first brown, that mid brown. The background is that dark brown. In that group, let's just put a height on that for a second. Now, if we look at this original, I'll just open up the inspector again. We can actually see that. If I zoom in, can you see that there's like a sort of overlay kind of pattern on there? So what we need to do is get a bit creative with this. And inside this group, we're actually going to put in a cover. And we're going to use the cover image as the pattern overlay. Stay with me. So we open up our images. We've got our little overlay there. Our texture. Set that. And if we go to our block cover, then we can have repeat background. We can get rid of the overlay. And you see how we've kind of got the same vibe going there. Wouldn't you say? Very similar. Right, next we need some images. So we need that scrolling image from our media library. One of them's top and one of them's bottom. That's the, that's the top one there. Put that in. Let's highlight that. Let's duplicate that and replace that one with the bottom one and then on that one we'll add after and put our heading in which will be this text here and will be centered uh, we should center these images as well line center oh, that's probably a bit big actually Let's get that down a little bit. Yeah, quite a bit more. Center that one as well. Okay, we'll sort out the, the spacing and stuff in a minute. Let's get this cover inside blocks to be not the content width. And let's get our typography sorted out on our text here let's just get everything going please can we have default there all open please i beg you right we want fonts ah petty and that's kind of getting there one thing because it's a single weight font and there's a there's default weight set kind of in the theme we are we're going to just throw this the thinnest version see how it's skinny down to its actual real weight because the brows are kind of pseudo bolted up a little bit anyway let's uh, save that and have, have a look at our front end now um let's just pull that over refresh that there it is okay let's get this height sort of so i don't think we need the fixed height on that cover at all or was it the group we had it on it was the group let's get the, the height off the group uh, and the cover was is coming in at the default of what a cover comes in at that looks a bit better and if we put some padding top and bottom just to make sure that we are having a little bit of space there that should do it 
refresh our front end and let's have a look. Let's drag that out of the way. Yeah, I'm happy with my wash. There's a couple of bits to think about here. One is I think this the font is actually a little big. So if we go back to here and look at our it's actually it is Excel. So if we open that up and do I don't know, just a couple of points smaller. Even probably that is probably about right. Let's refresh and actually still a bit big. I mean, to be fair, I'm happy with that for now. Next section is our about us stuff. So let's get a another, uh, yeah, another cover in there. So after this group, we'll go add after forward slash cover. We'll make that full width. Get our media library open and get our about image in there. We'll just sort that margin out as well. Save that right in the side. I think we're going to need a couple of columns. Two columns. Uh, the columns will need to be wide width and in there. Oh, let's get our cover overlay sorted out. Let's get it on the darker version. Nice. And let's get our text. Norman is an artist and producer from Sam Fran by all accounts. Get our, oh, didn't quite get it all. Hang on. Get all the text and then a button and it's learn more. Learn more. Now this button here, let's try it with the outline because it is outline. Doesn't work. Let's get styling. We'll put the text white background transparent. We want the border 1px and it's got to be white and it's got to have no radius. And maybe the padding. Is that about right? Ooh, padding's a little more, isn't it? Let's just up the ante slightly on that. That will do for now. I think the font is slightly smaller as well, so let's bring that down a couple of notches. That will do. Let's have a look at our front end after a refresh and yeah, like it. Right, this heading is a little small, so let's make that massive. Just want to check the font weight on that. Let's get our everything open. Font is, well, the default is coming from the font setup. Let's get it regular. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, is it, it's much bigger. Oh, hang on. Feels like it's bigger. Let's, let's update that and check the front end. Yeah, it definitely seems bigger that let's Excel's just not doing it. Let us just override that with something that is feeling a bit more like the original. I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. Let's get on our columns, actually on our cover, actually no, on our columns and let's get a bit of padding up and down. In fact, on our cover, let's make that just bigger in general. That feels a bit better. Right, where were we? Um, yeah, that's almost bang on, isn't it? I mean, obviously, for quickness sake, I'm not going to be tweaking. Till the cows come home, just getting it essentially converted over. Let's have a look at the next section. Okay, it's the gallery. So we're going to need our group in there. So right click add after forward slash group one block let's make it full width let's give it a background of our gray our mid gray just going to quickly put a temporary height on there update that okay that's cool let's get our latest from the workshop text in there we can just nick that and add a paragraph in there 
and change it from a text I just copied. Lead us from the workshop. All right, on that group as well, let's get some padding on the top and bottom. Now that needs to be much bigger. So let's get on to that. And I will also, that needs to be wide as well. Looks about right. Where's our image of the scroll? Let's put that in after. Let's group those together. Click that to get rid of it. Let's group those together and and sort the block spacing out. So there's a bit of space there. That's too big. Let's get that smaller. That's cool. So let's insert another group after. And we'll make this the single group. And this will be wide width. And the content will be wide width and our content is actually going to be columns because believe it or not i mean there is a gallery there is a gallery block it's rubbish it doesn't give you the same um parameters that you get with individual images which i, I just don't know why it's it's a bit um frustrating uh, and to be fair the gallery block uh, in default gutenberg in def default wordpress is you know i mean it does you know it's fine it's lacking and there is a tutorial coming up where i will show you a much better block gallery anyway let's get rid of that and let's put in our columns as aforementioned and we'll put in our three for our three images uh, and just for the time being let's get our images uh, so it's the white bottle there so there so that's the order it goes and we'll turn that to square and we'll have that open up on click. Yes, we will. Now we'll actually just get rid of the other two columns and just duplicate that twice. And that gives us our nice little grid. Let's um, get a bit of padding or margin above and below. Let's replace that with our second image and so on and so forth okay let's just get in the front end and have a look how we're doing yeah i'd i should coco i mean you know spacing and stuff like that let's not let's not get too fiddly you know you can tweak till the cows come home let's duplicate that let's close some of these down so we've got a bit more space to work with let's duplicate our columns Let's swap out our images. Which one were we on? Da -da -da. That one is next. And then replace. And that we're good. Update. Front end. Refresh. Yes, we have galleries. We're going to come back to the overlay, the background overlay here as well. Right. Next up, let's have a look. We've got uh, a nice little testimonial here. This is a funky little approach we'll stick another group in underneath our image gallery make that a group actually we need actually we need columns what am i talking about uh, let's switch that to column columns we can use this switcher up here columns get rid of that row let's just duplicate this so we have our three and the columns need to be set to wide width just check that. Yep, yeah, that looks like it's working fine. Just gonna save that for a second. Uh, and so the columns, I've got to get one column will have the opening quote mark, and the second is the text, and the third is the closing quote mark. So this has got to be, I don't know, ten percent. And the last one, 10%. That feel right? Could be, could well be. Right, let's go and get our images. So we go to our media library and grab our opening quote mark 
huge. Uh, let's center that. And same with our right hand quote. Let's get that in. What was that in the end? 40. Let's make it 40. 40, 40, 40. And that is centered as well. Our text. So let's grab that paragraph there. And slam that in. That needs to be centered. And we need our typography. Let's get it all open. All of it. Please, please give me a give me a setting for having them all open. Right. Typography font is petit. It's not far off already. Let's go medium. Line height maybe a bit bigger. One, two, three, four. Uh, that might do it once we get the full width when we view it on the front end. Let's have a look. Not bad. Now, with that column, we want the stuff in it to be at the bottom. Shazam. And on the whole column, we want a bit of padding, do we not? Here's our padding coming in. Let's check that on the front end after a refresh. I'd say yes, is what I'd say. Right, what's next? Ah, oh, we have our booking appointment. Form. Let's get another group in. Oh, actually, uh, no, cover. Let's get a cover in. So after that group, we'll have add after. It will be another cover. I wonder if we can use... Uh, I reckon we can use that cover. Let's delete that. Oh, actually, no, let's keep that. Let's copy that this cover and slide it in there and grab our text oh not that stuff this stuff see if we can that is definitely smaller that text uh visits by appointment only get that baby in there uh we don't need a button delete the button get the cover on changed replace that with the uh, which is what uh, da, 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 that one contact us and um, remember our situation with the uh, let's get the opacity up i reckon that needs to be black to be honest and the opacity down you know what i mean right we need a form let's get one open a new tab Get to our plugins. I have got Contact 47 ready to activate. Let's activate that. Go to our contacts and get our contact forms in. Right, let's get this very quickly tidied up. A little mini, a mini class on Contact Form 7. And what we need is some placeholders. Placeholder. And we open up our quote marks, put our name in. I like to add a little asterisk so it kind of indicates that it's required. Same here. In fact, let's just copy all of that. Email. Oh, subject we don't need. Message. Cool. Save that. Let's go back to our page and refresh that. Hard refresh. Uh, go back to our cover we've got here. Now we should be able to see our contact form. Choose our contact form, update that. And back to our live. Yeah, we've got some work to do here, haven't we? Okay, do not be afraid. We're going to get the code editor out. This is the the theme, and it does have a style CSS file in it with the th few bits and pieces that um, helps you when you're sort of designing from scratch boilerplate style. And we need to get some code in here for our form. So by, by default, block themes don't have any CSS for fields and inputs and things like that. So I have got, especially for you, prepared. And you may have seen this on a previous tutorial. This is just like a sort of form reset. This is not, this is actually isn't specific to contact form seven. Save that and refresh the front end. And we're already looking very nice. You see there's this placeholder here. That needs to be white. So that's a pretty easy one. We just do 
colon colon placeholder color white save that's all good so uh, submit button yeah easy peasy let's inspect that and of course we can start doing things like you know padding x 20px that kind of thing but you know why would i want to be typing like this when i can just go and grab a little pre-prepared css all the files that are in the description linked in the description save that there's our button bit big oh actually no i'm zoomed in on that's all cool submit right some of this stuff is a little too big you can do what you like yeah i think the message box definitely needs to be let's inspect that so text area min height say 100 px that makes it feel a little bit more like a text area field save that in fact let's go grab the rest of that code the css for contact form 7 save that if we have a quick look you'll see that this all is now we're looking a little a little sweeter move on shall we it's the footer i believe where are we yeah so this is the footer now we're going to make it on the page and then I'll, we're going to slide it into the template so let's uh let's get going um right we want another group oh actually uh, uh, no yeah group ah actually it's a bit like that you know how we've got that sort of hack where we've got the cover with the anyway let's just copy that let's get a insert after that cover let's close him up let's p cursor in paste and we've got that so we can lose the images those images at least and let us get that text so we've got that in place i do believe that text is a little a little larger let's get that back to the defaults come on me excel oh just do me again that looks about right okay now let's go in after with some columns this is going to be 6040s type vibe and we'll take that text and we'll stick it in our column here yes we will don't worry about it going on two lines it's because we are very much in a reduced width situation here the next column we're going to add our image and that's going to be our logo again uh, right on these columns let's get them aligned in the middle same for our image column middle alignment that might be a bit big actually that image let's get that and we'll get that image aligned center that text needs to be always centered from before let's have a look at that front end refresh looking good let's just get rid of that for a sec both those inspectors um oh it's the dark well a couple of things it's the dark the cover rather the group needs the dark background the deep deep dark background and i think the columns the cover is set to let's just check that in the front end again ah that's what it is we need that columns as wide width to constrain it just slightly that's better and that text can come down let's just put it on excel yes that's cool right one last group but i think we're done nearly let's get our element after that is another group it's a single group it's going to be full width its content is going to be full width we're going to get a paragraph in there grab our text uh, from the original just that blurb copyright blurb let's get that in there let's get our group padding sorted out okay let's put the left and right as well and we'll make that paragraph go to the right and we'll also make it a little bit smaller let's go one rem update that and there you have it i think we are 
pretty damn close. So quick review of where we're at. We've got all the sections in. There is some tidying up still to be done. Get onto that in a sec, but I reckon it's time for the header and the footer. Let's start with the footer. If we go back to our admin on that other tab, let's get into the editor and we'll go to our patterns and our footer. So at the moment, it's just this default blank boilerplate. Let's, let's open that up. Let's delete the entire content. Let's go back to our homepage and we've got our two sections of the footer, the copyright and the, the banner. Let's select both of those and group them. We might as well just do a quick rename, right click, rename. It's a footer. And let's add our element of footer as well. Just going to save that as we're going along. Let's copy that, get back to our footer. Cursor in, paste, save, save. Back to our page. Let's switch the page template to the default page template, i.e. not the blank template. Let's update that back to our front end. Give that a little refresh. We've got a header because remember now we're on the page template, not the blank. So look at the bottom and we've got, yes, we do have two footers. Let's delete that one off the actual page itself. Delete that, save that. Refresh front end and yes, there we go. Everything looking fine and dandy. Apart from that header needs to be transparent and sitting on top of there. Let's sort that out. Okay, so let's go back to our editor and control or command K and we can search for the header. And to make things a little bit easier to work with, let's put a background color on our header because we need to turn all of this kind of white, don't we? So text is white. And our nav should be white as well. And looking at our original, let's get over there. You see that when we click, it goes to the sections. So it's not linked to pages, it's linked anchor links to our section. So let's sort that out. So currently this navigation section is just a page list. So if you add a page to your site, it will just appear on your, in your menu. We want to change that. And if you just click on it, WordPress will say, do you want to do you want to edit this? And of course we do. So we'll edit that. We'll delete, we'll delete both of those or we'll remove them, I should say. And then we'll add custom links and they'll they will be like as per the original home about workshop contact. So this will be home and it's just a custom link. And then the next one will be another custom link. It'll be about. And then same again for workshop and same again for contact custom URL. We haven't actually put the URLs in yet. We'll do that now. Remember we're, we're creating anchor links. So we need to get our hashtag in there, pound sign. Same with all of them. Workshop as well. And the contact URL is a anchor link, save that. I don't know what's going on with this spacing here. I don't remember doing that, but let's sort that out. Oh, look at that. How's that on there? So something like that and let's, yeah, okay. Just make this sure that's extra light. Might be that it's, well, let's leave it like that for the time being. Let's save that, save and back to our new version. And yeah, okay, cool. Now we've got our white text. So one of the many little limitations, annoying little limitations is that with most page builders at this point, you would add in some negative margin to the header, turn that to transparent and away you go. But unfortunately, we can't add negative margin to stuff in the Gutenberg editor. So we're going to have to do a little bit more CSS, get our, ha get our sleeves rolled up yet again. So let's turn our background off make it transparent, can't see a thing, save that back to the front end and refresh. And of course we can't see anything. Well, we inspect that 
and let's give ourselves a little bit more room to work here so that's the that's the main header uh you will notice that we don't actually need the header html element on that because it's already in the template so let's turn that off because we can't have two of those it'd be very confusing save that let's just check we've got that right inspect that header again yeah that's great we've just got the one header now so we need some css to help us out here let's highlight the header and add some css to it we're going to put a min height of 100 we're going to do a margin bottom of minus 100 px completely disappears that's because we need some z index on here to bring it to the front but z index won't work because it's not hasn't got a position on it so we need a position relative and it's as easy as that not scary at all wouldn't you say so let's go copy our rule there get back to our css and we'll put in our tran trans Parent header. Let's have a look. That's all working beautifully. What about the links? Oh, they don't work because we haven't actually put the, the anchors in yet. Let's go back to our page. So the cover is basically the home link. So we'll go to our block and in our advanced section, we'll put in our home as home as the anchor and on our about section the norman is section we'll add our anchor of about same with our gallery section and the anchor is workshop and finally our contact section the anchor is of course contact with a small c please update that refresh that have we got working links oh yes we have lovely footers there links are in of course on the original there is this quite delicious slide in slide out sticky menu link is in the description of course so yeah there there are there probably are some differences between the original and uh this version but i think it's pretty damn close let's switch to device mode for on firefox and yeah that's not bad that's not bad that's not bad that's not good let's inspect that those fields are a bit crazy it's actually a regular thing with contact form 7 and it can be easily fixed now it's not the issue with our custom code here um you know we added all this stuff save yourself a bit of time and don't try and work with wits in this area with a sort of out the box contact form 7 it's this is the culprit here this span believe it or not and it's a really really easy fix thanks to our good friend flexbox so if we create a new rule for those spans because those spans wrap around all the inputs and we put in a display flex something's happening and we have flex direction column shazam really easy fixes <laughs> trust me it took a while to work that one out so let's copy that to our clipboard and put that under our contact form 7 stuff in our style.css let's give that a refresh and make sure that's worked yes it has great um okay so what's the mobile menu looking like white screen of death well it's not quite if we actually select all you can see that it's, it's because everything's white uh, it's on a, it's, everything's white on a white background because all our menus white that's an easy fix as well it's a bit fiddly if ever you try to do this but if we just inspect that now you see how this this is the modal that pops up so if we see how that is grayed out that means it's display none and i'll show you so that's display none when you click it open the wee little bit of javascript and it really isn't much sets a class on the modal to kind of show it so we need to target that modal and the class is to save you the time and the energy is we'll put our period in has modal open now if we just stick a background of red we'll put a important in there as well you see we've got our red background which is a little bit, a little bit nicer we obviously we don't want it red so let's get our one of our browns i reckon 
Um, yeah, maybe I'll let's open up our inspector and get our color in there and get that open. So let's get our brown in there. Just going to copy that rule. So they have a, <laughs> it's fiddly. They have a habit of disappearing. Copy rule. There you go. A bit more in keeping. Let's get that into our CSS for our mobile header. Mobile menu background. I want to drop that in there. Give that a refresh and yield. Very nice. That's a cool bit that it actually works for the scrolling as well. Absolutely mega fabulous. It's a complete one pager elemental to block theme. Medium chunky. Hope you enjoyed that. Plenty more to learn. And if you want to know about the starter block theme, there's the video about that right there. But until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>